Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install Journey Map in Minecraft 1.16.5. Finally, Journey Map has updated for 1.16 and it has been a long time coming and we're going to be showing you exactly how to get it in today's video. First and foremost, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much, we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So, if you want to start your very own server, check out Apex, the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get it up and running. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and get Journey Map. The first thing we need to do is download Journey Map. To do that, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is the Journey Map download page. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16, and then under that you'll see Journey Map-1.16.5. Click the orange download button to the right of that, and it will go ahead and start downloading after a few seconds. When it does finish downloading, it'll download right like so, and boom, now in the bottom left, we can see Journey Map 1.16.5. We do need to keep that file. You may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox, but it is 100% safe to save it or keep it. Now, we're not done downloading yet. We still need to download Forge. To do that, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you to here. This is our in-depth official Forge tutorial for Minecraft 1.16.5. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you do have any issues, you can come here and go through this tutorial. Once you're on this page, though, scroll down and click on the green download button. That will then take us off to our Forge download page here. As you can see, it says 1.16.4 here. That's not what we want. We want to click on the left-hand side. You might have to click plus 1.16. Otherwise, just click on 1.16.5, and then you'll see MC 1.16.5 here. Once you do, come under Download Latest and click on Installer. It's then going to take us off to Add Focus, where stop! Do not click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page whatsoever, except the red skip button that appears in the top right. It'll take about 10 seconds, and after about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right of this page, and that's the only thing you want to click on this page. Do not click anything else. When you do that, it's going to go ahead and start downloading Forge. That'll download in the bottom left on Google Chrome. It'll have Forge in the title, and as long as it does, it's safe to keep it. Same thing on Mozilla Firefox, it's safe to save it, as long as it has Forge in the title. If it doesn't say Forge in the title, don't download it and click the red skip button. Why didn't you just click the red skip button in the top right? That's all you need to click. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here we have, if we go ahead and refresh, Journey Map and Forge right here on our desktop. We're going to start off with Forge. Go ahead and right click on it. Click on Open With. Click, oh, sorry, I misclicked there. Go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or what if these files don't look like mine? They don't look like these Java Coffee Cup logos. Well, in that case, what you need to do is download Java from our website here. This is the official version of Java 4 Minecraft Mods. It's going to make sure you get the correct one for Journey Map being a Minecraft mod. After you've ran that, you need to come over here and run the jar fix as well. If you still can't open up Forge, I should say, you need to run the jar fix. And that's going to basically take all the jar files in your computer and link them to Forge right like so. Now if we minimize our browser, we can finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's then going to download, do some things, set some things up, and basically get Forge installed. The only reason this won't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.16.5 without mods before. If that's the case, go launch it, once you're on the main menu, close out of it, and this will work. Come back and go through this tutorial, I should say, and it will work. And, um, yeah, it's kind of that. But, as you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.16.5. Awesome. We can then go ahead and click OK there, and it will close out of that. Now, let's get Journey Map installed. To do that, we're going to go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. And when we open up the Minecraft Launcher here, in the bottom left, we should have Forge. Ours is already selected. If yours isn't, go ahead and click on this little arrow on the bottom left and select Forge. If you still don't have Forge here, when you click on this little arrow here, what you want to do is go up to Installations. And on the right-hand side, up here towards the top right, you want to make sure the modded button is checked. See, if we remove that, Forge disappears. It's no longer there. We click it again, Forge is going to reappear right like so. However, if modded is checked and you still don't have Forge, what you want to do is go ahead and click on this plus new button. Then we're basically creating a new installation for Forge. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible 1.16.5 Minecraft server. We have green protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests, a player based economy, it's truly incredible, and aquatic survival having an awesome slash shop based economy. On top of that, we have incredible custom skyblock with rewards, minions, mob coins, custom upgrades, so many things that are just truly amazing. Quest, a complete storyline, you'll love it. So come play this, play.breakdowncraft.com as the IP. Nevertheless, once you've got your name in there, it's going to click on the version drop down box. When you do that, you want to find at least 1.16.5 Forge. 
mine chart up here at the top, but you may have to scroll down to find yours. I've even seen it be at the very, very bottom of this versions list here. So just look through and you will find release 1.16.5-Forge. Once you find that, click on it. Now we can go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it because once we get in game, I want you all to be able to see. And then finally, we can click create in the bottom right. Then we have here this play.breakdowncraft.com profile. But the most important part is it says 1.16.5-Forge under it. If it does, go ahead and hover over it. Click the green play button. You're going to get this warning, but I click you understand the risk and you want to play anyway by clicking that green play button. And now Minecraft is going to open up. That warning was basically saying you're playing modded Minecraft. Well, of course you are. You're installing the journey map Minecraft mod. Of course you're playing modded Minecraft. J just makes sense. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and let this load on up. It's kind of just going through the processes of opening up Forge for the first time with Minecraft, setting up your mods folder if you don't have one, all of that stuff. It's just all happening right now in the background, basically. So it's kind of, we're just waiting, right? There's nothing really we can do here except wait for Minecraft to get to the main menu. But I don't like to jump cut here because I feel like it's just easier if we can just flow through in one big, you know, shot because um, that way, you know, there's no trickery or anything going on here. But here we are finally loading into the Minecraft main menu. And once we're here, I am going to go ahead and make this a bit bigger for you all to be able to see. There we go. Once we're on the Minecraft main menu here, we can go ahead and click on the mods button. And then we have this open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, for the main menu, click on mods and click on open mods folder in the bottom left. That's then going to open up our mods folder, where all we want to do is take journey map and drag and drop it from our desktop into our mods folder. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. And journey map is never going to appear here. Click, click done, click quick game, open up the Minecraft launcher again, except this time you don't have to go through all that craziness to create a profile. All you have to do is go ahead and select the profile you created, either Forge or play.breakdowncraft.com. Either way, it should say 1.16.5-Forge under it. Once you've got that selected, click play. Now, you don't have to go through that warning or anything. Minecraft 1.16.5 will open up with Journey Map installed. So if we wait here, we'll be able to see actually on the load up. There it is. It has recognized Journey Map right there. 1B4 is the version, but Journey Map 1.16.5 is right there. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work, but I know it's going to work because we tested it before this video. And you're probably pretty confident it's going to work here too because, well, you are watching this tutorial to make sure you can get it working and installed. In Minecraft. So now we're just kind of sitting here and again waiting until we get to the main menu. Then once we're there, we'll check and see if Journey Map's in the mods tab. And then most importantly, we will jump in game and show you that Journey Map is in fact working in Minecraft 1.16.5 as well. Now, this does work on servers and things like that. However, I'm not going to be testing it on the server because sometimes the you can basically set this to where you can see mobs and players and all that stuff, and we don't want that on Breakdown Craft, so I won't be showcasing it there. But if we go into mods folder, there is Journey Map. And if we jump into single player, I'm going to jump into our Nick's Craft world. And once we jump in here, we'll be able to see very quickly that a minimap is in the top left. So anyway, this does take a minute because my computer is pretty bad. So, oh, no, it's actually loading pretty fast. So we'll go ahead and just keep it rolling. Keep it live. Keep it live. How long can we keep a continuous clip going? Well, we're about to find out. But anyway, when we load in here, as you can see, the minimap at first, it doesn't have anything on it, but then it's going to start slowly generating around us. As you can see, chunk by chunk around us, that minimap is generating. It will take it a second, but then eventually it will fill on in. And uh, depending on how good or bad your computer is, depends on how quickly it fills in, right? I have a uh, pretty horrendous computer these days. I wish it was a lot better, but uh, it's going to take a bit longer. Let's do uh, weather clear. I don't, I, anyway, if we hit J, as you can say in the uh, chat, it says press J to open up the settings. And you can see all the different server settings here. What's new, you can see all that here as well. But most importantly, you can go into options and start selecting and changing all of your options, including setting waypoints. For example, if I'm going to go ahead and set a waypoint here. Let's see, can you set a waypoint from this menu? I'm a little confused. There's a lot going on. But anyway, you can see all of that there. I believe if we go into our... Our, oh, there we go. So this is the big map. Anyway, press J. If you want to see the big map, it's going to be here after you do those initial setups. If you want to get back to those settings, you can see keys here. You can show the grid. And where are the settings at? Sorry, it's been a minute since I've used this. Oh, waypoints. So we can go ahead and click here, add a new waypoint, and we'll name this the house, right? Because this is where our house is in this world. Go ahead and click save. Boom, we've got that. If we close, hit escape, go all the way back out. We now have the house waypoint right there. But um, anyway, if you hit J, you'll see this big map. I forgot how to get back to the settings. It's been a minute. I do apologize for that. But one of the big benefits of the Journey Map mod is that you can actually see this big map, right? So it's being a little weird right now because I don't have many chunks loaded. But as you play with this map, it'll load more and more and more and more and more chunks around you. And when it's doing that, it's actually going to increase what you can see when you press J and go into that mini map there. And I say mini map, but really it's quite a large map, right? So we go ahead and press J here. I just have to find out where we're at. 
Is there a way to recenter? One quick second. There we go. I was able to click this follow button on the left hand side and recenter, and you can see all of this around us, all on the mini map. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can look around, all of that stuff. This is by far my most favorite mini map. You can turn off mobs, animals, pets. These are the different things we, I said we didn't want you doing on like Breakdown Craft, for example. You can show caves, right? We've not been into any caves, so you can't see them, but once you are there, you can change cave layers. You can go into topography and like show the topography map, which is really cool. You can actually go in here and change day night as well. So, so many different options, and you can even see the lighting, by the way. That's one of the cool things as well, as you can see what's lit up, what's not lit up, all with this mod. It is by far my favorite mini-map mod, hands down. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section down below. But that's how you can get Journey Map and Minecraft 1.16.5. I'm so happy it is now available for 1.16.5. It truly is the best mini-map mod out there. Again, J is how you can access this big mini-map after you go through your settings. As far as getting back to those settings, you can click Options on the bottom. I can't believe I missed that, but right there it is. There's Options on the bottom, and Waypoints is next to that. So, nevertheless, there you go. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy Journey Map, and I am out. Peace.